I am standing on January 2020. I left year 2019 and ahead of me another year 2020. Due to several reasons, especially for milk quality issues, 2019 was an historically remarkable year for Bangladesh dairy sector. Also from global perspectives, there are certain things has been happened which also caused a remarkable year for global dairy sector. I am going to highlight what are these comparisons between Bangladesh dairy sector and global dairy sector. I am leading an integrated dairy research network which is briefly called IDRN. IDRN was established in July 2018 under the Department of Animal Nutrition, Bangladesh Agricultural University. The main goal of this network is to collect data from the farm and dairy sector in order to analyze and make a real-time update for Bangladesh dairy sector and Bangladesh farm. I am today now giving an overview between Bangladesh dairy sector for 2019 and what has happen at the same time at global dairy farm and dairy sector. Looking into milk production, Bangladesh has estimated 9.94 million tons of milk production according to Department of Livestock Services. On the other hand, Integrated Dairy Research Network has estimated 8.1 million tons of milk production in 2019. According to DLS, the milk production growth was 5.7%. According to IDRN, milk production growth was was 2.7 percent. On the other hand, at global level, milk production growth was historically lowest, 0.8 percent. Looking into the milk price, which is actually the key driver for milk production all over the world. We see that the milk price was relatively stable in the global market. However, there is a sharp increase and at the end of the year 2019, globally milk price was 31.5 taka per kilogram of milk. On the other hand, Bangladesh dairy farmers received on an average 40 taka per kilogram of milk, which implies that Bangladesh dairy farmers get 31% higher milk price compared to the global milk price. What does it imply? It does not imply the higher milk price is ended with higher profit because Bangladesh dairy farmers has been facing tremendous challenge on getting input. Feed is one of the main input and feed price is globally only 18 taka per kilogram of milk. On the other hand, Bangladesh dairy farmers has to buy concentrate feed on an average 27 taka, which implies that Bangladesh dairy farmers has to pay 47% higher feed price than the global feed price. Looking into the milk price feed price ratio, Bangladesh dairy farmers get on an average 1.5 and globally 1.7. Bangladesh dairy farmers has been facing tremendous challenges on producing milk in a competitive cost range. Bangladesh dairy farmers produce milk with a cost of 37 taka per kilogram of milk, while at global level, global dairy farmers produce milk on an average 33 taka per kilogram of milk. Looking into the uh, global perspectives, we see that the, the lowest cost of milk production globally we found for Uganda who produces milk only by 9 taka per kilogram of milk and the highest cost of milk production we found for Switzerland who produces milk by spending 157 taka. In future we see that they from, from cost of milk production side Bangladesh dairy farmer has to uh, invest more strategic decisions uh, to reduce the cost particularly feed cost and which can increase the competitive for Bangladesh dairy farmers. Looking into the commodity wise, globally butter price has still increasing and demand is also increasing which is quite unusual and increasing butter production is associated with a high uh, production of skim milk powder. However, 2019 the stock, European market stock for the skim milk powder was sold out. Therefore, in future we forecast that the skim milk powder price will increase. Future. IDRN 
stands for Integrated Rural Research Network, which is working in collaboration with Bangladesh Agriculture University, particularly with Department of Animal Nutrition and in the stakeholder like Milk Beta and Rural Development Academy. Three of PhD fellows at this moment is working with me from these two organizations. I've heard from some of the MS fellows working together, and we are working for collecting data, analyzing facts and figure in real time, and updating every month for Bangladesh dairy market. At this stage, I would like to request all of you to participate in this analysis in order to make the analysis more in holistic view so that all of the dairy farmers, processors, input suppliers, and policymakers can get benefit out of our analysis. Thank you very much for watching this and stay connected with IDRN in order to get more updates.